Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Venu Gopal, consultant neurosurgeon, Manipal Whitefield. As we all know that COVID-19 uh, has become a pandemic and uh, most importantly, it is a great challenge, especially for the doctors and the healthcare of all over the world. Probably <clears throat> this generation is the only one which has seen this and probably hope we don't see this kind of a pandemic anymore. From the neurosurgery point of view, <clears throat> see the thing is, um, we from the Manipal Hospital as such have come up with an additional uh, SOPs of the standard operative procedures incorporating the ICMR <clears throat> and also the Government of India protocols that we follow a standard regime. Not only for an outpatients, we screen all the inpatients for the COVID having a particular COVID protocol. Even the OPD patients are screened through the fever clinics and made sure they are totally uh, not even an asymptomatic carriers. And once they are screened, then they are allotted to that particular specialities. And of course, neurosurgery being a very tertiary care um, specialty. So we obviously get exposed to less number of COVID patients because a lot of screening happens right from the fever clinic to the pulmonologist or the primary physicians before they land up to our neurosurgery opening. And especially the neurosurgery procedures wherein brain or the spine related issues are concerned, all the patients who require an elective semi-urgent or urgent procedures are classified. Based on that, based on the emergency, we send the COVID samples to the appropriate labs and we get the result as fast as possible. Where in emergency procedures where we cannot wait for the COVID results to come, we take an appropriate precautions, having all the PPE equipments placed and having minimum number of occupants inside the emergency or the ICU or the OT. We take care of the protocols like intubation, everything happen outside the OT, OT premises where it is exclusively kept for the COVID patients and then we get the patient inside the OT and we make sure major drilling procedures like the orthopedic or the spine or even the brain procedures where we require a lot of drilling uh, where there are contamination through the aerosols. We make sure everything is through a negative suction operative OTs wherein these aerosols are sucked in and also wearing an appropriate PPE equipments. Emergency and ambulance services, I'm uh, grateful that our services are there around the clock, especially even for the uh, pickup from the home, which are totally of, free of service. And we have made sure <clears throat> that the emergency services, the mass ambulance is always available. And once they reach to our hospital, from wherever the centers they are, the protocols are taken whole through from the time the patient is picked up from the primary hospital, it is screened and also made sure the ambulance, the ambulance staff or the paramedical staffs, everybody are equipped with the proper PPE equipments and taking care of the COVID cares till the patient reaches safely to the hospital. So we have been continuing our OPD services uh, right from the lockdown two stage that it was declared and uh, we are happy that uh, we are also on uh, video consultation which is happening quite not only for a broad specialty and also for the super specialty patients and a lot of patients especially the follow-up patients whom we have operated they have been quite happy with the video consultation that has been going on and right now we are almost full-fledged from nine to five we are seeing the OPDs, regular OPDs, along with the allotted specific times for video consultations. And I'm happy that uh, the ICMR and the Government of India and also our own hospitals protocol, we have made it sure that it is more patient friendly and also medico-legally we are um, 
we are clear in all the aspects so that the doctors are also safe patients are also safe to as much as possible we'll be able to communicate with the patients and not to lose the treatment in between especially for the follow up patients and also guide the new patients who wants to get it treated appropriately my uh, final thing is like i think this is the testing time we should be compassionate especially to the patients who have been positive and uh, i think there is no need to fear as far as the covid is concerned i think it's going to be kind of a influenza like a disease which hope we get a vaccination or some treatment soon till that time i think we have been india has been successful in achieving a very good uh, recovery rate and uh, less uh, mortality rate compared to any other countries and uh, we as doctors would always be there to treat any kind of patients not only neurosurgery or from any kind of a specialty in our hospital but till that time stay safe stay healthy and don't forget to wear your mask and sanitize your hands